In this video, I will show you how to design and sell mugs, using a print of demand opportunity, to make money online, even if you are not a designer or maker of these products. If you haven't created print on demand products before, you can check out another video of mine that shows in detail the steps on how to work with Printify, how to set up an Etsy and Shopify store, and how to connect Printify production to stores. Now I'm going to show you how I create mug designs and the product in Printify for my stores. So, let's diving. To create the design, I will use my preferred text to image generator, Midjourney AI. Okay, today I want to create some floral designs. I will make a design with different flowers, like poppies, daisies, field flowers, roses. I'll start with the poppies. I run such a prompt. Lots of poppies in the style of watercolor painting, full color, flat color no outline, no background, aspect ratio 293 to 151. I set such an aspect ratio that corresponds to the size that I will need to place the image on the entire cup. If I want to get more results, I choose here. If there's an image I like, I choose upscale to enlarge it. From these results here I like the first and the second, so I choose U1 and U2 to upscaling. I then right click on the image and choose to save it to my computer. You can see how easily and quickly great results were obtained. Before you start, what's important to know, is that in order to use the images you received from Midjourney for commercial purposes, you need to pay for one of their plans. I'll run another prompt. Imagine prompt. Lots of field summer flowers in the style of watercolor painting, no background, aspect ratio 293 to 151. Great! I really like these images and will enlarge all four of them. But this image doesn't exactly have a white background, so I'm going to remove its background. I will use remove.bg. I attach the image, the background is automatically removed, and I download the image, which is already without the background. And these are other similar images, I got using the same prompt for different types of flowers. Daisies. Roses. Dandelions. primrose and cornflower Although I used different variations in less than an hour I managed to create in Midjourney 12 designs that I really like and will use. The next step is to create the products themselves in Printify. For those who are not familiar, Printify is an e-commerce platform that enables individuals and businesses 
to create and sell custom-designed products online. It serves as a print-on-demand service, allowing users to connect their online stores or marketplaces with Printify's network of printing partners. Users can upload their own designs or use Printify's design tools to create unique artwork for their products. Once a user creates a product listing with their chosen design and specifications, Printify's printing partners handle the printing, packaging, and shipping processes. When a customer purchases a product, the order is automatically sent to the appropriate printing facility, where it is produced and shipped directly to the customer on behalf of the store owner. Printify provides integration options with popular e-commerce platforms such as Shopify, WooCommerce, Etsy, and others, making it easy for users to set up their online stores and start selling customized products without the need for inventory or upfront costs. I choose from the catalog that I want to design cups and choose a suitable product. Now I'm going to choose those cups that are colored on the inside, because those basic colors will work for my red poppies design and the one with the blue flowers. I choose start designing. Then from my device I attach the image I want, in this case one of the poppy images. Then I adjust the image so that it fills the entire field and select Save Products. Then I choose which image is the first to be displayed for my product. I add text to the product title and description. I add a few keywords to the title. I continue by choosing Publish. A list of products I already have appears and in the top right corner, I can see that this is the Etsy listing. I can automatically copy the product to my Shopify product list as well by selecting copy to from here and tagging my Shopify store. So from here I can switch to the Shopify product list and see that my product is there as well. There are just a few more steps I need to take to publish it to Shopify. I open the product and see that most fields are automatically filled. I can add more tags and finally, I need to choose which Shopify page to see this product on. I choose home page and publish. The other thing I'm going to do is open the Etsy shop manager.
Here you have the option to add your own mock-up. Etsy sells pretty good mock-ups for a few bucks each that you can buy and then reuse over and over again by putting in your own designs. I will choose primary color, red. And I will add tags. I have the right to add up to 13 tags. From here I can open the product already in the store, and see how it looks. And from here, I can see what the product looks like in Shopify. Now I will also create a cup with cornflower flowers. For this purpose, I choose a glass that is blue on the inside. And again, I'll attach the image. I will choose a leading mock-up. I am adding more information to the product title and description. Since I am creating this product on my Shopify store, I can choose a Shopify category right now. And now I'm going to copy this product over to the Etsy shop as well. I add the necessary and here is this beautiful mug, now for sale on Etsy. Well, that was all for today. If you liked this video, please press the bell and subscribe to my channel. Write a comment if you have any questions, or if you want to share your experience with print on demand. I plan to post more videos on how we can use AI to create products that can bring us passive income.